Typing new recipes into cooking is pretty easy. You just click this new recipe button on the toolbar and you type it in. We divide ingredient lines into quantity, unit, and ingredient components so that cooking can automatically adjust recipe serving sizes, analyze nutritional value, and make grocery shopping lists. And when you're typing this in by hand, it's not too bad because cooking has an autocomplete feature that will fill in the word you're looking for. You just begin typing what you want. But when you're copying and pasting recipes from Word or from Notepad, for example, like here's a recipe that I have in Notepad, and if I want to get this into cooking, I can highlight and right click and choose copy to get the recipe name, right click and choose paste. And I can highlight here to get the description. And I can highlight the directions too. So that part's really easy. And now with the new Snagit tool, getting the ingredients into the ingredient listing section is super easy too. I just highlight the ingredients here and I can do them all in one false swoop by clicking right here on this Snagit automatic ingredient entry. Now I just paste the ingredients into here and cooking will automatically parse each of these ingredient lines and divide them into their component parts. The new Snagit tool makes it super simple to get your recipes into cooking. You can even, if you wanted to, type freeform text here. Three tablespoons butter, two teaspoons salt, and cooking will parse that as well. So when you get cooking version 11, be sure to try out the new Snagit tool.